If you are a shawarma lover, trust me, you're never ever gonna buy a shawarma flatbread anymore. This is so good for home use and both business. So let us jump right in. In a bowl, you want to start by adding some warm milk. You can as well use warm water. Now bring in some cooking oil. Now add in some yogurt. You can use any type of yogurt, but not Greek yogurt, okay? Do not use Greek yogurt. Now go ahead and mix that perfectly. Then we're going to bring in our all-purpose flour. Now bring in baking powder. No, there is no substitution. We are not going to be using yeast. Baking powder only. Now bring in some salt. You want to mix that until a dough is well formed. Then you can now transfer into a flour surface. And you're going to knead the dough until it is smooth and nice. So at this point, everything is looking good. You want to transfer into a bowl. Just let it rest for like 5 minutes or 5 to 10 minutes. At this point, you are not letting it rest because you want it to rise. No, we used baking powder so it's not going to rise or double in size. You're just letting it rest so that the gluten in there can do its magic and make it stretchy. So now you want to fly your surface again and we are going to defy this beautiful dough. See how stretchy that is? That's how you want yours to be. Now you want to divide that into about 7 to 8 parts or portions. This recipe can give you about 7 to 8 flat breads. Now you want to fold and roll them into a ball. Like roll all of them into a ball. Then we are going to start flattening out the dough. Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah. Now, when you flatten out into a circle like this, you want to carry it now and you want to transfer into a hot pan the pan here yeah, i'm using a non-stick pan i would suggest you use a non-stick pan okay now that is cooking on medium heat when you start seeing like the bubbles just like this you want to flip the sides and i always like like to be flipping my sides from time to time each side is going to cook for about 45 seconds to one minute okay this is how beautiful that is looking you want to remove that and place on a towel so the towel you want to cover it that's just to maintain the softness and how beautiful it's gonna be because this tends to dry out like really fast and when it dries out it really becomes hard you see how beautiful that is when those bubbles start forming it means you got the right recipe so normally when you're frying the first one you might not see the bubbles that's why i always insist that your pot is really hot so that you can see the bubbles you see how beautiful that is so make sure you check the comment section because i'll be dropping like the recipe or the link for you guys to get the recipe and the website has important tips and troubleshooting for soft shawarma bread you can cover this in a towel and maybe use the next day or you can use immediately thank you so much for watching today this point until we meet again bye for now